So are you ready to dive into this whole world of child actors? Because it's a jungle out there. It really is. We're going to like get real today about what it takes to make it, cut through all that Hollywood glitz you see on TV. We've got some awesome advice to unpack today. Seasoned talent manager, Corey Ralston. Oh, he's the best. He knows his stuff. Plus, we'll sprinkle in some tips from acting coaches and even get into how parents can help without becoming, you know. Stage parents. We've all seen those. <laughs> exactly. But first things first. Is your child even cut out for this whole acting thing? Right. Because my niece, she can sing karaoke like a rock star, but Broadway, I don't know. And that's a question Corey really gets at. He says, forget just being cute, you know. Yeah. To make it, kids need resilience. They need that work ethic and honestly, a genuine love for acting. Yeah, because it's not all fun and games, is it? No, not at all. In fact, Corey says over-rehearsing can actually backfire. Really? Casting directors want natural talent, that spark, not some robotic performance, you know. So improvisation skills are important. It's more like a child who can take direction but make it their own. That's the sweet spot. So it's a balance, like be prepared but also be able to go with the flow. He calls it owning the room. But it goes beyond just the acting itself. Oh, interesting. It's about a child's emotional intelligence. Now, what does that even mean when we're talking about, like, a 10-year-old? Think about it. Self-awareness, bouncing back from rejection, even turning those nerve-wracking auditions into something, you know, charming. So they need to be able to handle those curveballs this industry throws at you. This industry thrives on relationships. Kids who connect with people. Genuinely, those are the ones who stand out. It's true. I mean, who wants to work with a diva, even a little one? Exactly. Hmm. Corey talks about self-confidence, but not cockiness. Knowing your worth. Being able to laugh off a bad audition and realizing rejection. It's part of the game. And that's where I think parents play a huge role, right? Like teaching your kid to bounce back. Building that resilience is so important. Okay. But how do you know if your child has it? Like that star quality. The it factor. Some kids just have it. Charisma, Corey calls it. Authenticity. That ability to connect through the camera and make you feel something. Oh, I know what you mean. That's certain something. And this is where honest self-assessment comes in. Corey's a big believer in being realistic. Not every kid who likes drama club is going to be on a billboard one day. <laughs> You've got to recognize their strengths. Encourage those passions, but also be honest. Do they have what it takes? Because this industry, it's tough. It's a marathon, not a sprint. Right. So before you even think about headshots, you've got to have that honest conversation. Is this right for your kid? That open, honest conversation is so important. Okay, so you've had that heart to heart. You and your kid are both gung-ho about this whole acting thing. Then what? Time to get real about the business side of things. Because those Hollywood dreams, they don't come cheap. Not at all. Corey actually lays it all out there. Headshots, acting wow. classes, those workshops. Yeah, got to have those workshops. It adds up quickly. He threw out a number like $20,000 a year. I mean, for the average family. Yeah, it's definitely an investment. There's no doubt about it. Mm -hmm. And just like any investment, you need to be smart. You know, mm -hmm. you got to know the risks and what the potential payoff could be. This isn't like winning the lottery. No, definitely not a get rich quick scheme. It's about nurturing talent over time, building a career. And speaking of time, this industry is more like a marathon, right? Not a sprint. Yeah. How does Corey suggest families navigate that, especially starting out? He's all about building a solid foundation, and that starts locally. Makes sense, like starting small. Local commercials, student films. Like theater productions, right? Absolutely. Those are like the training grounds. Kids can hone their craft without so much pressure, make those rookie mistakes. Without and... all of Hollywood watching. <laughs> exactly. And they build up their resume while they're at it. Plus, they start making those industry connections, which is huge. Oh, networking. So important in any field, really. And that leads us to finding an agent. How do you know when your kid is ready for that? Corey says, finding the right agent. It's like any good partnership. It's about timing. So don't rush it. Wait until they have a strong resume, showcasing their experience. You know, proof of their work, not just potential. So they actually have something to show for all those acting classes and stuff. Exactly. It's like applying for any job. You need that solid resume. And here's a little industry secret. The two-year rule. Building trust takes time, right? Mm. Agents, they want to see consistency, commitment from their clients. It's a two-way street. It's not just about what the agent can do for you, but what you can do for the agent. Right. It's a partnership. Okay. So you've got the agent. You're building that resume. But let's talk about those stage parents for a sec. 
We've all seen them. But how involved should parents really be in this whole process? Corey is very clear about this one. Be supportive, absolutely. But do not, I repeat, do not be a stage parent. Easier said than done sometimes. Right. But your job is to guide them, encourage them, and honestly, keep it real. Let your child find their own voice. Handle those pre-audition jitters. Let them learn from the ups and downs. So we've talked about the right mindset for this whole child actor thing, the financial side of it. Now, what about those practical tools? What does every kid need to even get started? Well, like in any industry, you got to nail that first impression, right? And in Hollywood, that's headshots. Headshots are key. And I'm not talking about those cheesy school photo day specials. No way. Corey is very clear about this. Get a professional. Find a specialist headshot photographer, someone who knows how to capture like the essence of a child actor. And they need to be updated pretty often too, right? I mean, kids grow like crazy. All the time. Yeah. And it shows you're serious when those headshots are current. Casting directors pick up on that kind of stuff. Makes sense. Okay, what about self-tapes? Those are huge now, right? Every audition wants one. Self-tapes are everything these days. Any yeah. tips to make yours stand out? Oh, yeah. Lighting is crucial. Sound quality needs to be top-notch. And framing, that's important too. So many technical details. It's like making a mini movie. Right. And something Corey really stresses is using a professional reader. Oh, interesting. Even for a self-tape. Even if it's just a friend who's an actor or an online coach. Mm. Someone to actually play off of. Gives them that energy, that back and forth. Exactly. Long. Makes a huge difference. And don't underestimate the slate. You know, where they say their name and oh, stuff. Oh, yeah. Is there like a right way to do that? It's more than just stating your name. It's a chance to let your kid's personality shine. A quick joke, a fun fact, make it memorable. I love that. Okay, last but not least, social media. How does that whole world fit into child acting? Because it's like every kid's on TikTok these days. Social media, it's tricky, right? Double-edged sword. It can be great for visibility. I mean, YouTube, Instagram, they've created some child stars. But Corey says, don't chase followers. So it's a tool, not the whole game. Exactly. It shouldn't be the only way you're trying to get your kid out there. Mm -hmm. Real world experience is key. And of course, prioritize their safety. Always. So much great advice today. It's really about being prepared, being professional. And being adaptable. This industry is constantly changing. New platforms, new ways of doing things. So you got to roll with it. Stay informed, connect with people in the industry, and never stop learning. Great advice to end on. Thanks for taking this deep dive with us into the world of child actors. Hopefully you feel informed, empowered, and ready to guide your young star towards success. 